Good afternoon. This is the weekly video update for March 2nd, 2017 for Polk County Fire Rescue. Let's get right into it. First of all, JJ Jablonski is retiring. JJ, I had the privilege of going to have dinner with JJ and the crew last week at his station for his kind of a going away send off, but that's not all that's going to happen. Uh, we would like to congratulate JJ for 15 years with Polk County Fire Rescue. And in and of itself, that'd make him sound like almost a newbie around here with some of us old timers. But JJ's got 37 years total, including his time with uh, Long Island up in New York. So JJ has served the citizens not only of Polk County and Florida, but other states as well. There's going to be a reception this Friday evening from 6 to 8 at the Grove Roots uh, Brewery there in downtown Winter Haven. So everybody come out and uh, wish JJ well. Again, long uh, career of uh, serving the citizens. Here's some other schedule events coming up. First, uh, as I brief every week, the command staff meeting is generally on Wednesday mornings and it's been moved. Uh, the time's re redone at 845 now and moved to the Bryce Building uh, Annex over there. So a little bit change of location. It kind of got a little bigger and we had to have a bigger conference room. The drive-by training, according to Chief Fatone, is ongoing and still uh, being very effective and meeting with pretty high reviews from the staff and members that have gone through there. So look forward to that. Also, I've got a little bit better clarification on some of the dates and times. The captain and the engineer's written tests are on March 15th. The engineer practical will be March 27th and the 28th if necessary. They'll try to squeeze them on one day, but they'll uh, allow for a day for spillover if we had more applicants than, than we could do it or there was some problem. The captain's practical assessment will be the 5th and again the 6th if necessary, but primarily on the 5th. The EMS Symposium is still for May 22nd through the 24th. Again, the doc's got a lineup of uh, very quality speakers coming in, uh, a lot to be learned, and a, uh, just a, a, a big time there, uh, so plan on that. Some of the follow-up items that I have for you this week. Uh, on March 1st, you got the memo for the Shift Friendly Paramedic Fire Classes. Uh, it's going to be funded up front, no out-of-pocket costs, according to the chief, from uh, uh, by by the employee. So that's a great deal. The sign-up sheets are going to be out next week to get. Uh, I know you've probably uh, expressed interest in another place or on other documents. People have said you know trying to get uh, gauge the interest, but there's going to be in the official sign-up sheets going to be coming out. Also, uh, on the recent email from the chief, you know we've had some design lab issues on our uniforms. So please follow the process highlighted in yellow on the chief's email. And again, no later than March 16th. And design labs errors will be corrected at no cost to you or the county. Chief's uh, personally heading this, this thing up. So uh, just uh, go ahead and comply with that and we'll get, get our uniforms all squared away. Some reminders and updates. First, uh, as always, the strategic plan that's out, please be familiar with that. That's our roadmap of what's going on in the future. Uh, so we want to make sure that everybody understands, if, hey, what's going to be happening in the future? That's it. The second thing, uh, the chief and I are un uh, under redesigning the new employee information package uh, right now to, uh, to give each of the new employees. One of the things I want to make sure of is that you guys have input in there. You guys know better than I do um, what some of the new employees ask, the questions, what they need to know or what they were requesting to know. It's really changing a lot. We're taking the base employee uh, packet that Chief Cash developed and, and adding some stuff to that. So the history and the things like that are still going to remain, but we're getting some new, uh, some new items in there, such as telestaff, things like that, some of the newer things. Uh, Chief Fatone just advised me that the clinical care guidelines will be distributed within the next two weeks. They're under the very final uh, last stages of review and will be out and distributed for, uh, uh, for use within the next two weeks. Also, I'd like to congratulate Deborah Jones. She's now our new administrative secretary and Rosa Lalonde was promoted to education manager. So if you see these folks out, congratulate them on their recent uh, improvements and promotions. Now, uh, as always, uh, questions, comments, I've been getting the last few weeks, I've had a few questions and comments, which is good. Be engaged. It's Rick Parnell at polk-county.net. Uh, if you want to know anything or I can direct you in any direction to get, uh, get the information that you're requesting. 
I don't have anything else for you. Please keep your questions and comments coming in. Everybody be safe.